Hi everybody, I was out here puttering for a few minutes and I thought I should probably document this because um, this was such a great idea. These tomato plants, chocolate cherry that I bought the plants from a nursery nearby, and tiger blush that I started from seed, they're Baker Creek seeds that I started, are doing so great in this area. Um, they're both the big, huge, bushy kinds, vining almost bushy kinds of plants. And so I have them wedged in here between the deck and between this trellis that is here for the beans on the other side. And so there's two, three feet of room in between there. And I shoved these mineral tubs. Farmers use that have cattle use these big mineral tubs for their cows and then sometimes sell them for a few dollars. So a lot of my tomatoes over there in the new tanks that I just put in this year didn't like the compost, didn't like the direct sun, something. And they just remained, for the most part, toothpicks. There's a little sun sugar there and a little sun sugar in a planter that did okay not the best not very good but I got to taste what sun sugar tastes like so that's exciting but these did great you can see oops you can see how many tomatoes are on here now when these started I had what looked like to me possibly blossom and rot and so I added crushed chicken shells I added that fertilizer you buy from the store, tomato something. And then I very recently added rabbit manure because I had to clean up the area where the rabbits had been last year. And so that helps. Um, the chocolate cherry tomatoes did not get it very much, but the um, tiger blush got it terrible. They were mushy and gross and nasty, and um, so yeah. So I did all of that, and they're doing much better. Um, the heat wave also, our really hot summer was terrible on them, and I didn't think I was going to end up with any tomatoes, but look, they're doing great now. A bunch of green tomatoes on, bunches and bunches. I also found one hornworm out here, and... I don't know if you can see, that's the back side of it. Um, and then I came out to check. I plucked that one and fed it to the chickens. And then I came out here to check again. And they were almost immediately, like the next day or two, covered in those, is it the wasp eggs? So you want to leave those on because they kill the hornworms? I'm not quite sure. I think they're from wasps. So I've got that one. And then when I was... Maybe you can see that one better. I knocked one to the ground there um, when I was plucking off some of the dead stuff. So I have had a huge amount of dead leaves on these. I don't know if that's from the heat or because they don't get enough air here or because there's some kind of fungus or problem. And so I've been out here picking the, this dead stuff off and trimming it off threw a bunch of it over the edge and down the hill but then I piled some here so you could see oh there's another there's another oh, I hate these things oh they're so gross hornworm with the eggs on it so when you see a hornworm and you see that you're supposed to leave it I guess because those are predators of the hornworms and so they they eat they're parasites for them so they help kill them. So I think I'm going to put this one back in the pot so they can do their thing. Anyway, so I'm extremely pleased for the second year with the tiger blush. I love the taste. My coworker doesn't care for the taste as much, so I don't know, you might not care for the taste as much either. I love the taste. And then these black, mm -mm, not black cherry, chocolate cherry tomatoes are the ones 
that I like the best in the tomato confit that I just did for the first time. So I'm so excited about these growing because I want to make more tomato confit. So these are two plants, types of um, tomatoes that I recommend. The plants are huge, huge, huge. If you have any opinion about the dead leaves, um, I don't know if they just don't get enough circulation down there. I, we had horrible hot weather. I'm not always the best about watering, um, but if you have suggestions, let me know. Um, so today's the first day I'm really picking them off real well, but they're bouncing back. Whatever the problem was, we've had some rain. I've been doing a better job of watering in between the rain. The weather is slightly cooler except for today. Oh. So that's the update on the tiger blush and the chocolate cherry. Um, so far this year, two of my favorite tomatoes. This lighting is bad, isn't it? I hope you can see some of this. Okay, see ya.